Hi, I'm Terry Rowland from T. Rose Studios. I've been working on my Quilt As You Go Can't The Quilt. Now everybody says, how can you do it Quilt As You Go? Um, so I've had several people ask me, so I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So you need to start with a piece of fabric that's the length of the finished quilt. Mine I wanted 70 to 72 inches. So I've got one strip um, salvage to salvage um, and a half a strip plus I'm inserting a decorative strip in between that's 10 to 12 inches. So I sew those together and I use that as my full strip for my, my width. I'm cutting mine four inches. A lot of people are using jelly rolls to do their, their cantha quilts. So I'm just going to push this out of the way and I'm going to show you my technique with the short ends. I take my short ends, these are four inches wide by 72 inches long, and I put them right side together. Now a lot of people are doing their cantha quilt with just two pieces of fabric. They're not putting a batting in them. Um, I didn't want something this light. I wanted something that was just a little bit um, heavier. So I'm adding a piece of flannel. Now I did pre-wash my flannel so it won't shrink that as bad as it usually does. And I'm just gonna stack them all together. Now you could do a hand stitching all the way along to, to um, sew all of these layers together. I went to my sewing machine and I sewed them together. And because I don't have my sewing machine with me, I'm just going to pin them and you are going to imagine me having this sewn together. This will just show you my technique a little bit. So this is a, a machine stitch in my case, but it could, could have been a hand stitch. There, just about there. Okay, so now I am going to fold these wrong sides together. And I will press that. And I've created a finished edge that is going to be on the outside of my quilt. Just like this. So you can see that's finished on this edge. So this is done the whole length of my quilt. Now, just to make it easier for me, I just do another machine stitch all the way down this edge to hold all the layers together, right close to the edge. So then I'm ready to add my second row of quilting, or stitching, my second strip. Again, I'm going to put it the right side up. I'm going to take this sandwich and set it on top so it is right sides together. I'm gonna to put this one right side together and I'm gonna grab my flannel filler and line up all of these raw edges. Now again, I'm gonna go along and I'm going to stitch this in place all the way along. Now I was doing approximately three strips and then I would stop and I would do my hand sewing. Now the reason I did the quilt as you go technique is because then I'm not fighting with all of my layers of fabric all at once. Again, I'm going to press this over, get it nice and flat. And I'm going to run another row of stitching along here. So it looks something like that. I'm going to sh just show you on my other one because I did add a strip this morning. So again, it's exactly the, what I just described. I put my right side together. I put my right side together. And then I put the flannel on top. And you can see my machine stitching all the way along there. Then I'm going to press this this way. I'll press this one this way. 
get my edges even, nice and smooth. And then I will do a running stitch all the way along this edge just to hold all of the layers together. Now I'm ready to do my hand stitching all the way along here. And I'm using really large stitches, very organic. They're not even, they're not lined up. I like the look of them not being lined up opposed to having almost look like the corduroy look. Now, when I get to the end, I've only got three more rows to add. I, on my end, I'm gonna to have to fritzel around a little bit, but I'm going to turn both of the ed edges under and I'm gonna pin it well and then I'm going to do my running stitch to hold all of those layers together and have a finished edge on this end. So it'll be a little bit of fritzing around, but then I have done a back stitch on all of my threads as they came to the end. And I'm going to cut it, make sure that it's fairly square, and I'm going to bind both ends. That's how I'm finishing mine. I didn't, um, I didn't turn under each of the ends. I could have. I think some people have finished their canthus that way. I'm just going to bind mine. And I decided to do the same color on the back as I have on the front. So my, my strips, as I added them, were the same color. I could have used a different color on the back if I wanted. I could have had a boy side and a girl side or whatever you want to do for, for coloring. And I did graduating the rainbow this way and I'm matching these colors going the other way. That's just how I decided to do mine. I hope that helps you. If you've got any questions, you can just leave them below and I can check later and maybe I can help you out.